Hey guys, how you doing? So I wanted to come to you with another video of me going through my hair. As you guys know, I was trying to do a perm rod and that did not come out too cute for me. So I didn't put the video up. I will try it again. I know where I went wrong. So that will be coming up in a few days. But I want to try some flat twists on my hair since my hair is definitely growing out of my table look. So I want to do some flat twists. Now the products that I'm using are some products that I really, really wasn't too fancy of. But the only reason why I'm using them, I made a pack to myself before I go and buy any new products. I have to at least use up what I have on the top of my counter. I cannot buy nothing else because... What I tend to do is I'll use it, let it sit there, something else, I'll go get it. And then I have so much stuff. I can't have a tons of makeup and tons of um, <laughs> hair products. So I have to make a choice. <laughs> so my choice was I can buy makeup. That's a whole other I can buy makeup. But I, my, my hair products, I have to use up. And it's a good thing. Because at least I know I'm taking care of my hair and I'm not letting it sit. But anyway, I'm going to be using uh, this Curls Unleashed. I have this, this, and this. This is the Curl Boost and Jelly. And this is the Defining Cream. And this is the Leave-In Conditioner. Now what I'm gonna do is, I don't have much of this left, so I'm gonna use this on the top, and I'm gonna use this on the side, which is the jelly, just so I can do my finger coils. And I'm gonna use it over my head, because the instructions, what it say is, these two work well together, and these two work well together. And the reason why I probably didn't like it before, I used them all together at one time. And I didn't, I didn't even have the urge to say, you know what, let me try it again. I just kind of pushed it to the side, tried to give it away, and no one wanted it. So, I have to use it up. So we're going to do some flat twists. And I hope they come out really good. I hope you like it. And... I just got finished um, co washing my hair. So, this is it. So, I'm going to shake this up. This is kind of, you know, you hear it? It's kind of watery. So, I'm just going to put some in my hand. And if you see me looking to the side, I'm looking in the mirror to make sure that I'm in frame and I'm getting everything. I'm not gonna saturate my hair with this. Just enough to get it over the hairs. And I'm going to get a comb. And guys, combs are not good, but I'm kind of addicted, so it's what it is. So I'm gonna make a part right here so I can have a a point of how I'm going to start this. I'm going to get a clip to hold this piece down and then I'm going to flat twist it going like this. So when I get to here I'm just going to finger coil. And this may come out looking like a twist out, who knows, but we'll see how the definition is. That's the only key for me, is to see if I can find different ways to do my hair and get kind of a semi-different look or, hey, even if it's the same look, my hair is short, so I really can't expect much. So, here's a curl defining cream. How I'm going to use this, I'm going to be very, very light with this because... Before it left me some white residue, but again, that could have been from me using both of the products. So I'm gonna focus on the end, so I'm gonna use that amount, and I'm just gonna go down the hair. I'm gonna comb through it as well, and I'm gonna flat twist going down, I guess. And who knows, because I might be doing both ways and for those of you who may not be familiar with how to flat twist it's like a corn roll just using two pieces and you're just doing a pretty much a two strand twist but just 
staying close to your scalp. to the end and just kind of hold it so I have one I hope you guys saw that I have one I'm gonna do one more and then as usual I'm going to take care of the whole thing and then I'm gonna come back because I don't want you guys sitting through this this is pure torture but this could, can kind of give you a an idea of what you can do to your hair if your hair is similar to mine or a little longer than mine or shorter than mine you know as long as you have enough to grab and put it in a twist a flat twist you're okay so it's a little bit more because this is a little bit bigger piece I'm just gonna focus on the ends come down the hair whatever's left on my hand I'm I'm going light with this stuff because I had an experience before where the white residue. Okay. Just going to twist it. And make sure you don't get no other hair from other parts of your hair. Kind of keep it even. So your twist will definitely come out nice. I used to do this a lot when my hair was longer during my first um, year of being natural. And wear it out and then put it in a puff. That's like my signature look, wearing it in a puff. What's your signature look? What, what do you do? You do a puff? You do a headband? Or what do you do? Let me know. Okay, so there goes my two flat twists. I hope you can see that. They look pretty good. I'm going to keep on going, but I'm going to give you guys a break, and I'm going to come back, and hopefully I have the whole thing done, or at least this side done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the top done. Let me show you. This is not done, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take the... Curl boosting jelly and do my finger coils. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished this side with the finger coils. I'm going to go on this side and finish up over here. And I must say, I'm presently surprised at how the coils are coming up. Before I did um, the two strand twist, but it's giving me like a curl pattern, you know, because I don't have one. I guess this is curl boosting jelly. I guess it's like an activator. I don't know. But it's definitely making me have like a curl pattern. So we will see how it turns out. I just got a few more to do over here, so I figured I would show you exactly what I was doing. So if you want to try it. I'm just taking the jelly, putting it on my finger and on the hair, and just twisting my hair. Taking little pieces, like that much, and just twisting. Okay, so and then today what I'm going to do, let it air dry because it's early in the morning. And if I do happen to go out today, which I probably will, I'll just put a... Um, I had wrapped a turban on and then I'll take it out tomorrow and I will let you guys see and I hope and pray it's not a fail because for some reason I'm not having much of luck with my hairdos and I don't know but for some reason I have a little slight headache I don't know I'm not used to all this tugging and pulling on my hair with the, the, the flat twist I'm not used to that so I got a few more left back here and I'm going to show you. I want to do my whole head in thin coils and I want to see how that will look. Since my front is much longer and then, you know, I don't know, I may try that. Maybe later on. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay. 
whole thing goes in. So here it goes. This is the flat twist in the front. I did them going this way. And I got the ones on the side going down. And then these are my finger coils in the back. I hope you can see that. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey ladies, so I'm back. Here's my flat twist. Let's take these out and see what happens. First I'm gonna put some oil on my head. And I hope you guys can hear me because I've been told that I've talked low, but I want to make sure you guys hear me. So I'm kind of close. I, I'm very soft-spoken, but I know I need to talk up. So I just want to make sure. So if I'm looking to the sides because I'm putting some oil in my head, my head just feels, my scalp feels so tight. Okay. Okay. So let's take them out. So what I've noticed with these flat twists, I'm not used to, I haven't had braids or twists in my hair, or even a sewing for that matter, in like two years. So something being close to my scalp like this, I had a little semi headache um, yesterday from this because I guess the tugging and the pulling is not like doing two strand twists or finger coils. This was like me, you know, getting close to my scalp. So I was just like not used to having all that tugging and pulling on my head so what I can see is very defined it's just so my hair just feels so dry and as you know if you don't if you didn't I mentioned that I use this this is the curl unleash curling boosting gel that I use this for the back and the back is pretty soft okay. to be honest it's just the top and I use this, and this is the curl defining cream, and then this is the leave-in conditioner, just to kind of do a little recap. But um, yeah, the top just feels so dry. I feel like I'm gonna pop my hair. I can't even get my fat fingers in here. <laughs> but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish taking these out. I'm going to go slow, just like putting my fingers through them. And then I'll come back, okay? Because I don't want you to have to go through this with me. <laughs> okay. Oof, I got one left. Okay, my hair is extremely dry. Like, ugh. I'm going to put some more oil. I don't want to spray any like any mist on it because then it's going to make it frizz I'm just going to put my fingers through it I took all the flat twists out of the band coils in the back so I'm just going to take my fingers and pretty much just you know rub it through like that okay and I'm going to get my pick and what I see with the with the with the flat twist, it kind of like elongates your hair. So it's a lot of lot of crinkles in here, a lot. <laughs> you guys may not see it. I hope you do, but it's a lot of crinkles and definition. So I'm gonna stand back a little and. Take the pig, and I'm gonna go through my finger coils as well, not to take them out, but just to lift the roots and leave the coils in there. I'm thinking about doing my whole head in finger coils. I think I might like this. Because finger coils, they don't move. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna look to the side over here because I wanna make sure I get. I like the volume, I must say. I'm very surprised I don't have that white residue from last time when I used this product. That was like the worst. I guess I use it as they said. So, you're supposed to follow directions. <laughs> I didn't follow them last time. 
But overall, I mean, I'm still not, I'm still not fancy of the product. So once this is up, I will not be purchasing any more of it. I am going to use it up. So. Mm. That's that. So, I'm going to smash my sides in. I'm going to separate it a little bit right here to kind of give it like a part like. And that is it. I hope you guys like it. You should try it. Especially for the with the TWAs. You know, if you have a tapered look or if you just have, you know, all around a TWA where it's pretty much the same. This is pretty cool. Flat twist. You know, if you if you don't want to do two strand twists, you could just flat twist it. It's kind of easy. I prefer two strand twists, but this definitely gave me more volume. I feel like my hair is like stretched out, poofy, and I like it. So I'm going to go outside with my little sundress on today. Can't see it all the way. <laughs> and that's about it. I hope you guys like it. Please, if you like the video, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you tried this um, flat twist out. If you have a video, you did a video, link it below. Do a video response. All that good stuff. But if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.